The Persian Empire lasted for around 200 years and was the greatest empire the world had ever seen at that point, up until a blonde megalomaniac nicked it. Today, we're going to be reversing that tragedy by playing as the last remnant of the Achaemenid Empire. If you want to see more Imperial Rome on the channel, be sure to like this video and subscribe. And who knows, maybe we'll even be able to resurrect Imperial Rome. Right, chaps, welcome back to Imperial Rome, where we're going to be playing as Persis, the last remnant of the Persian Empire. I usually don't play with headset on uh, to avoid headset hair. It's kind of horrible. Um, but the music in this game is so good that I can't bear to not listen to it. Unfortunately, that means I have to mute all game sound because the audio track is with the game sound. Um, otherwise, it'd be very jarring. So that's why there's going to be no game sound. But today, we try to restore this nation here. If I go down to the missions tree, Persian pursuits. Uh, I mean, the mission system in Imperial is objective better than anything else. But the mission we consider complete when we have expelled the foreign interlopers from our homelands and re-established the might of Persis. So you can see here, a lot of it is about um, playing a little bit tall at the start, sorting ourselves out, entrenching ourselves, and then afterwards down here into fortifying, re-establishing the immortals, and throwing off the Ionian. But we're nowhere near that just yet. We need to reach out to the... But they they are faithful, perfect. So we lose 100 and we lose political influence, but we get spearmen, discipline, and spearmen morale. So yeah, we're going to be pursuing um, a, a domestic building strategy first. Build cost and build time is going to be a good one. We'll get ourselves an origin myth. Bear in mind, I don't know how to play this game properly. That's not going to stop me though. All right, we have seven of these advances. We are going to just focus on civic stuff for now. So build time is going to be minus 40%. This is going to be good. All right, and a further build cost. Okay, this is... Sediment purple. This is all stacking up quite nicely. Persis is going to enter a civil war because there are subjects to Seleucid. So that would be quite useful for forcing through trying to achieve. They have a standing navy. People are supporting Pretender. Again, that's fine. Alright, I'm going to follow the mission tree as sort of like a guide. So we need uh, an academy, court of law, tax office, and a training camp. And then we get one free province investment. Perfect. So let's go here. Tax office was the first one, so let's build that. God, the I'm sorry. You, you can't hear this, but the music's so good, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Like, it's on par with Stellaris for fitting the uh, the theme. Okay, we've already built the tax office. My God. It only took a couple of months. All right, so we have a tax office building. We need a training camp, a court of law, and an academy. Share your cash with me. Sounds good. We do have elephants, which is kind of cool. Low food in Carmania and Ormuz Rudania. Okay, you are dying from food loss. So just Rudania. Is that going to go away? Can't import anything. Right, could you focus on food, please? Can't quite remember how to fix this. <laughs> go for a granary. I'll see if that helps with the food situation. Pretty sure I need to build farms and then move a, like, move slaves there. But I don't know how to do that. <laughs> that didn't work. It's now getting worse. Do this. Does that not give me a trade import? Yeah, I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> I, I, got no, I got no ideas. I've been, I've been Googling quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not been working. So I guess I'm just going to let the people starve. I'm gonna, just going to let that happen. A mill. Would that not produce food? No, it doesn't. What the hell produces food? Farming settlement. Requires a food producing trade good. So you just you just don't have any food. Why were people there in the first place then? You know what? I'm just going to go out to the mission tree. People are starving. People are starving. Whatever. <laughs> I'm a very good ruler. Okay. Court of Law Academy Training Camp. Academy. I need a bit more money. Well, the food supply is going up. This province produces food. Christ, they're still starving. Leave the province! Go elsewhere! I'm just going to keep moving people out. There you go. There we go. That should hopefully fix that. I've just made it worse. Now you're suffering from lack of food. Ah, uh, how much food do you have? Loads. Okay, look, move elsewhere. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, forcibly moving people is the way. Oh, and to go in it is are oh, gone. I, I've been completely ignoring this situation. Okay, the Seleucid's got, I think, because the main rival is gone. Well, that's inconvenient for me. Where's my money gone? Drop down army maintenance to, to like, you know, uh, same thing with fleet maintenance. As I did that. Okay, what's this? A pirate colony. Okay, pirate colony doesn't seem too bad. Got the fort maintenance. Cool down another omen for build cost. Okay, let's see if we fix this now. Bad research ratio. <laughs> it's just me like staring like slack jaw to everything. Because I've no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I'm enjoying it though. <laughs> Embrace piracy. So we have, uh, what are they called? Like guys that have letters of mark, you know? Privateers. Sure. We're gonna use pirates to gain commerce. It's good. We've lost grain. Uh... Yeah, okay, let's make sure that we don't do that. Let's buy more grain. All right, let's build the academy. So how strong are the Seleucids? They're pretty strong. They have 3,000 population and 345 territories. Okay, so our number would like buy a factor of 10. Why, 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 why? Dude, why? Oh, for... Why are the Seleucids not here? They started this war. Or at least they're, like, you know, they're involved in it. Dude, bring your troops. Oh, God, three people just died. Come on, man. 
DC's well land! Court of law and a training camp. Where's the court of law? Ah, here we go. Court of law. Unfortunately, we need to build another province after this. For every 10 pops in City of Parser. Okay. So, we need another 9 people here. Centralized population. That's what we want to do. Have you won this war yet? What is this war even for? And how many troops do you have? That's war exhaustion. I do think that the salutes aren't as scary as I thought. Because there's only like 10,000 here. 13,000, 14,000, 20,000. They've got 20,000, 22,000 troops. Unless there's more I can't see. I mean, I've not seen anything but 22,000. And how many troops could we raise? I don't have any legions. We could raise a decent amount. Looks like, to me at least. Oh, bloody hell, more. Okay, here we go. So we need one, two, three, four, five, that, uh, nine. Right? And then from bat again, I'm just going to move in the guys that are moving in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now that should give us enough population for another building slot. It does. Again, forcibly moving people. That's the key part. This is what we do. Pull down another omen. Obviously, build cost. How are you still starving? I just moved everyone out. Stop starving to death. Oh, I can import stuff now. Import grain. Does that, that's going to stop you from starving, right? Is it not enough? Okay, good. No, you're good. Right. And cut on you as well. Don't know how, how to import from you. So you're just going to have to survive. Bryce. Okay. What's the last thing I need now? A training camp. How quick it is for us to build things. We're very stacked for a, for a tall kind of, kind of gameplay. Which is good, because we're not going to be standing anytime soon. Restore Persepolis. We get a free province investment. The barbarians destroy Persepolis in a drunken stupor, but burning to ash. They might have destroyed the city, but the dream cannot be extinguished. Today, we make our visions into reality. I'm going to go for this, and I'm going to invest in it now, because it's going to give us another building slot. And we want to have a centralized capital, I think. And then we'll complete it, which will give us another free uh, thing. So we'll go for uh, population capacity probably after that. Why would you do that? Okay, the solutions have a bit more than the 22,000 that I thought they had. Just, just slightly. Yeah. I don't, uh, this is going to be tricky. I don't know why I picked one of the hardest starts, uh, uh, apparently. All right, there we restore Persepolis. When I remember the beauty of the city of Persepolis with its shaded streets and fragrant gardens. Gardens? Gardens? The, the, like the solar eyes filled with tears of bitterness and rage when we consider its present state. The Macedonian barbarians thought they could erase our heritage with fire and death, but their atrocities have only solidified our desire to restore Persepolis. The so, command of the gods, we do that immediately. Sweet, that gives us monthly stability and legitimacy. Now we need to expand a couple of other provinces. Urbanize over here. Population is greater or equal to 20. 20 and 20. So we're going to go ahead and change this policy to... I'm going to put this back to the acquisition of wealth. Probably is already 20 here. How are you still suffering from a lack of food? I don't understand you. Surely there has to be something I can do about this. Think about it later. Think. You got this. So... Well, no, because they're the only provinces in the in the area. So they're not going to be able to build anything. There's no farms or anything I can build. Because they don't produce food. Food, like, what, what can I do? What I can do, though, is move the population out. I don't know why they keep on turning up in this province. Like, surely, what? Is it because we're blockaded? I don't get it. Why are we losing food? That's because it's winter. But we import our grain. Yeah, it's just because it's winter. Figured out that uh, it costs money to uh, ship people around. I was not aware of this. I wonder why I didn't have any cash. It's because I was constantly forcibly people forcing people to move at the expense of myself. Right, let's see how everyone else is getting on. Rome is expanding. Carthage is doing all right. Good job, chaps. Thrace has done quite well. Uh, it does appear Macedonia is dead. The Antagonids are back, but in two parts. Palmetto Kingdom doing well and well. Please don't have migration to Redania. For the love of God, no. We can't afford more people there. All right, what's done with this one? I just need another building. What building would I need? Tax office seems good. All right, expand Kazarin. There we go. Excellent. Now, just need population there, and I just need... I need buildings equal to three over here. Currently, I have two. Let's get another one. Get a tax office here as well. And then we need 20 population in... Is it this? I think it's this province, isn't it? Like more civic stuff over here as well. But quite a few slaves. Okay, population 20 and population 20. And you're naturally going to get that over time. Go ahead and... Yeah, centralized populace, national slave output. Most of our guys are slaves, so that'll help. Well, our income's doing quite nicely now. Cool done, Omen. I'm gonna do this, population happiness. That should be able to help us a little bit. How do I know when a new population's gonna be born? Oh, Redania loses food. Ooh, they're dead. Bryce, why are you burning? What is, why are you on fire? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Just be normal. I can literally just do this, urbanize it. Ooh. Saravan is a dagger point at the heart of the Seleucid Empire. And then here, I think I just could just do the same thing. Move one in from there. There we go. Oh, Diodome is the Explorer. He regales us with tales of Sky Theater and Bactria. Well, we know all about them. Begs I leave to restock his small fleet with a galley of slaves and return for a ball, which he claims revered as holy by a forgotten people. Just stay, mate. Don't 
you know, just chill, mate. There we go. We've done well with manipulating the explosive growth of our city. Well, explosive growth, I just forced people in. Has the invention open religion, religion paths as a great temple? Connect Kish. I need roads. Christ, okay. Restore economic heartland. Have greater than or equal to... Let's do that first. We'll just sit here for a while. Connecting Kish. So I need a road in between these. How do I do that? Gain some cash. All right. Tur crash. Charges. Gur. Puts upon Egabandi. So here, I need a road. How do I build a road? <laughs> How does one do that? Why is Kamani disloyal? God, I wish I didn't have these provinces. Governor corruption. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Who are you? My primary heir. Well, then take this place. I don't know. Like, what position can I give you? What are you good at? Can I make you an admiral or something? There you go, my primary I'll make you an admiral. Military tradition, awesome. Okay. Persian traditions or Iranian? Because we lost to the Persians. Maybe it's time for us to transition, you know? Oh, but I do want the immortals. Now nah, we'll go Persian. All right, back to what I was doing before. We're just trying to figure out how the bloody hell to build a road. Oh, nice. Look at that. I gave him admiralship and he gave me money. Good job. And that means we can restore economic heartland. Excellent. For 95 months, we get build costs, population growth, and civilization change. And immediately, Carmani is losing food again. I hate you. Yeah, I'm not gifting you anything, buddy. Okay, apparently we get it with civic tech. Road? That's a riad. Probably certain someone just came in and nicked all of my, uh, <clears throat> nicked all of my holy relics. Ooh, we can turn everyone to Zoroastrian. That sounds good. Uh, raise levies. Is there something? I think it's here you can build roads. Build roads. See if we can advance to greater than four. Okay, so we can't do it just yet. Have five farms or slave estates. Okay. More slave output. Got a little uh, statue to the monarch. It's always nice. Stop being disloyal. I hate this province. I wish I never had it. These two are just miserable. Why are you upset? Governor corruption. Now what? There. I fixed it. Why is it harsh treatment? Ah, uh, you know what? I'll let you get on with it. <laughs> Sweet. Civic advances. Which means we should be able to do it now, right? So, we need to raise ourselves a levy. Head to Gabandi. Civic advances is greater than four. What? But it's greater than four. Greater than four, not four or greater. Okay. Because it's take another ten years. Okay, well, in the meantime, we'll just keep building up. Nothing wrong with that. All right, it looks like Thrace has grown even more. Rome is definitely growing. Yo, Carthage, please. <laughs> Chaps, do something. Do something about that. Well, they've not been directly countering them, but they're definitely doing something. Oh, great. Why is everyone sacking all these temples, man? Do we take investment plus 14%? I tell you what, it's, it's rare to have a game that I'm like enjoying playing tool with. I think that's mostly down to this missions thing. Like I feel like I'm progressing. I need open religion and a great temple. I haven't done anything to do with religion. Where's open religion? Open religion's over here, okay. We need one, two, three more. And then we can get great temple, which means we can patronize Maggie. That one we need to get for the civic advances. And then from here, five farms or slave estates, which we could just do right now. Restore paradises. There's more good news to share this morning. Our slaves and our fields have been productive and we are acquiring reputation in foreign markets for exporting the goods of exceptional quality. People are only way willing to pay a premium for the fine words produced in Persis and we are only too happy to take their coin. Re-establish the immortals. We could just do that right now. Because loyalty of generals minus two, but heavy infantry discipline plus 2.5. Do that. What has been spread that we've reformed the elite military unit of the immortals, even now they are drilling outside the walls of Parsa. Awesome. Practicing honing the ancient battle formations that have carried them to victory so many times. When battle inevitably comes, the immortals that we expect our heavy infantry to shatter opposing forces and show our enemies no mercy. This is the legacy we've chosen to embrace. Now, fortify the passes. We have a fortress in Gata or Azagata. Or Azagata. Okay, I need to import even more grain here. Because you are still starving. How are you still starving? All right, let's build these forts. Azagata. And what about the other one? Down here. This place just starves every winter. And there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Spends the rest of the year building up its uh, its supplies and starves again. The building slot over here. And we can put a fort on it. I think it's a good place for a fort. Probably need another fort over here for when we declare war. Uh, and then another one in here. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> it just took The game just took my political influence and then didn't give me what I needed. I can put a port of Pospana. Put it there instead. And then let's keep on trying to like get ahead of it. So Port Pospana has a city status. Okay. Nice. Accepted rights. Oh no, a lot of things just happened. Our at war. As a rebellion. Keep going, chaps. All right, open religion has been secured, which has unlocked the great uh, temple building. How do I build a great temple? Here, okay. 204. All right, let's get that first then. Right, I have uh, been sitting here. Uh, as you can see, the date has advanced quite a bit. I've been grinding out our missions, and now I can go ahead and do them all. So we can patronize Magi, which is great. We can then connect Kish. We're pleased to report a road has been built. As predicted by our economic advisors, connecting these two cities has resulted in streams of wealth pouring into our coffers. All right, then urbanizing Kish, we just need to move a couple of people in here. I think three? Urbanize Kish. Happy to receive well the new construction in Port Spana has been received by an overjoyed populace who are already taking advantage of the expanded commercial districts. Perfect. More good things in store. 
or defy the passes. Already done that as well. Even though our neighbors are unhappy, we are taking open steps to secure our borders. We assured those around us we're merely seeking to protect our homeland. We do not seek conflict with anyone, but rather hope to expand our joint opportunities. Let's see if they buy that. I think I need another port here. I do. We should have a bunch of free investments. But we can also do this where we fortify the capital, which gives plus 15% local fort defense on all of them. Uh, a period of celebrations we called through Persis with Grand Procession taking through the place throughout the newly fortified capitals of our heartland. Thanks to architects who have cleverly, cleverly buttressed our existing fortifications, the citizens of our towns feel more secure than they ever have, believing their towering walls will protect them from invading armies. So that's good. Expanding the Royal Road, also done. And then we can restore Persian culture. Although our culture has suffered greatly for, the, for a long time, with some even believing that our best days were behind us, that the light of Persian civilization was going to be exchanged forever, we've proven the, to the entire world that one should never bet against Persis, for we are capable of achieving magnificent feats that other nations can only dream of. Send riders to the corners of the earth and announce that our era has begun. All shall prostrate themselves before really born Persian authority. All right, we're going to try and demand Mardin. Now the position to make our designs known, it's, it has been decided we'll set an ultimatum. Do we demand the entire thing or do we just go for one province? I don't know where these things are. I think, okay, it's over here. We want the province. There we go. Look at that. We grow, lads. We grow. Right, let's have a look at the areas we just got. Seem decent, you know. I mean, there's only one thing left to do, really. Build up ports. Control of the Gulf, we need 50 ships, which I don't think is necessary, to be honest. We're going to start building some fortresses. that are going to project as fort zone of control. Bump up our army maintenance for when we need to go to war. Christ, the people come on and need food. I've been trying to fix this the entire time. It must be 666 every month. Christ, it's expensive. We're going to need to do something like that, but we've built the ports. We must not neglect our navy while building up our armies. That's exactly what I'm doing. I think we're going to bump up this lot to integrated because then I can I can summon more troops I'm fairly certain all right citizen do that okay so we have tech seven they have tech four obviously it's still like a massive difference between us they have still got ten times our army size but their stability is kind of bad all right which has insulted the uh, Seleucids your doom was foreshadowed eternities ago Christ another military tradition we're going for the fort defense that sounds like a good idea to me and we can go through each of these provinces with forts that we have don't know what that does you're fighting Dahai. Okay, well, immediately after this, we'll declare war on you. Because I think we're pretty ready. This also gives us a chance to see the Seleucid war machine. 4,000. Christ! There's about 50,000 troops there, man. How are we supposed to beat that? Come on, Dahai. Do something there, mate. We're getting Omen. For five years, we get four defense. We're really going to try and lock that down. All right, full disclosure, I have taken a save because I don't know how, how this is going to go. I just want to experiment and see what happens. We're now a regional power instead of a local power. Nice. Oh God, watch our economy just go kaput. Right, throw off the Ionian yoke. National manpower also costs most 5% and diplomatic reputation. Finally, we've extricated ourselves from the slavery imposed by the Macedonians, shattering the yoke of bondage into pieces. We now stand for the first time in generations on our own two feet, with no chains on our necks and no fetters upon our wrist. Let's rise to this momentous occasion with the aid of the gods, and may Ahura Mazda continue to see fit to give his blessings to our people. The kingdom of Persis has returned. We may be a light unto the world. Ah, oh, nice. So this is the whole Persian thing. Sure. Cool. Um, we're going to die. I've never tried aborting a mission. Okay, so that just destroys the mission tree. Okay, uh, we'll do the matter of purses instead. Consult the court. All right, so it's about yeah. Here you go. Just conquest. That's that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we pray. We long for a, no what warlike. Obviously, lights off from Gura. Absolutely. Can I call you to arms? No. Oh, maybe if I can. How do I improve relations with you? Now, ports are blockaded. I am tempted to pay them and just strike out. Okay, no, the uh, morale's gone up. I'd say I was going to pay off this lot and then go for it. All right, there's no point in doing that. Nice, morale of armies. Sweet. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. This is good. Right. Recent death of Seleucid rulers caused a great deal of political disturbance in the country. You can take advantage of the situation. Numerous lackeys, pretenders, and legitimate claimants of their own have risen up to bear arms against the newly crowned Basilius. Ah! <sighs> All right, chase them off. Good. Come on, buddy. Yes. Okay, this looks like a victory. All right. And there we go. All right, we're going to do with that lot. But the issue is uh, these guys here. I have a plan for them. The plan is this. Mercenaries. You, you didn't have any morale, did you? There we go. That's better. All right. We need to take back uh, that fort sort of as a matter of priority. Win a couple of battles first. Okay, let's uh, retreat from this area. We need to take back that fort sort of as a matter of... Uh, massive urgency. Christ. We need to put up some resistance in the east, though. Oh, God. This is miserable. I right, go take back our lands. Christ. Who else are you fighting? That's the only reason I'm alive. You're fighting Bactria. 
Oh, good oratory uh, stuff. Um, what would help me fight? None of this stuff helps me fight at this present time. Uh, army weight modifier. I don't know what that means, but we're, we're going to take it anyway. All right, let's start sending some guys in. All right, we're going to send the 13k to go take a city, and the 2k is going to go and run and take a couple of little provinces. 13k are going to defend the east. Okay, that's a, an army. Oof, that's not good. All right, we'll reinforce with the 2k then. Okay, I'm assuming the fort's going to hold that. We'll go and fight in the east. Nice. And excellent. This should be a nice little wipe here. A couple of martial advances. Oh, sweet. We took some land over here. Rudania is starving. What else is new? We nicked some people. We're actually pushing. Good job there, lads. Nice little victory. I'll tell you what, these mercenaries were a godsend. All right, as far as I understand this, in three days' time, I'll get the province of Persia in an enforced peace. Right? Don't know what the province of Persia is. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a save. I'm going to... I'm going to let it happen, and then we'll figure it out. So if I don't do anything... Oh, we can now force a piece to take it. Okay, I thought it was just going to instantly happen. The province of... But you're telling me I don't have to, so I can keep, like, and take more territory. Oh, I'm going to do that. He seems busy. Oh, don't attack that. You know what? Both of you just, like, return and see if you can test this. Okay, we're going to start running out of money real soon, so maybe one or two more sieges. All right, a couple of battles, a couple of victories, a couple more victories. Now we... Well, I mean, ideally, it's a fort that was the issue. It's been a hard fought campaign, but I'm getting a call for peace. We have literally no manpower left. Uh, I'll wait for these things to flip to us, and then we will. It doesn't say. I mean, it says aggressive expansion, right? But it doesn't. It doesn't say like exactly what that means. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I keep on pushing. I've been pushing this way too far. I just need to get out. Can I not take like money? The city of Babylon has finally fallen to our troops. It's now in our hands. Babylon's built by the Euphrates. was an important city, state, and kingdom. Right, what do we want to do with it? Remains untouched. Take everything of value back or share some of these things. I, I think we'll just leave it as is. We've become a major power. Oh, aggressive expansion at minus 2.5%. Let's, let's get that. I haven't done anything down the oratory tree at all. Like, there's no way I survive, right? <laughs> Realistically. How do I fire the mercenaries? All right, let's all our levies. Again, how do I... Ah, here we go. Ah! Oh! We make 11. Disloyal promises. Rudania. Of course, Rudania is disloyal. All right, sweet. I've made friends with the uh, the guy that was looking like he was going to rebel, the general. The Seleucid revolt, uh, I mean, it's it's small, but it's it's there. It's part of the reason we won. Nope. I think it's dead. How can I make you happy? Kind of weird that I can I can claim the mantle of Alexander. I'm four in Persia. I need, ha like, not that many promises, actually. Like, one war against the- one good war against the Saluted would do it. However, if that's something you want to see, then we will have to pursue it next time. That's right, I'm- I'm proposing a two-parter. We've set ourselves up really nicely as, uh, Persis. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this- the Redanians gonna rebel. I hate them for this. But they are absolutely gonna rebel. So yeah, uh, I- I want a very few people playing Imperator to Rome, I think. We can see Carthage doing well, Rome also doing well, Thrace, uh, dominating their region nicely so yeah if you want to see more please do make sure to like and subscribe it means that i know that uh there are some people that are willing to watch this dead game i'm really enjoying imperial rome uh I, yeah i didn't expect to but it is a lot of fun and i'd be happy to continue this campaign form persia and try and maybe reclaim the achaemenid uh legacy so yeah if that's what you want to see do let me know in the comments down below otherwise i'll see you all next time goodbye huge shout out to my patrons most importantly redguard76 lewis wright Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JadeOw52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Whilst you're here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.